In the last video, we took a look at some of the formations that the offensive team lines up in. So let's flip it around and look at the other side of the ball and take a look at how the defense will be setting up. Let's just jump right in here. The first formation is the 4-3 defense, and we call it that because there are four linemen, three linebackers, and being that there are 11 guys on the team, at least four defensive backs. The defensive backs are divided into two categories. The guys up top are the safeties, and the defenders up here on the line are the cornerbacks or the corners. Now what these different formations largely do is have a different number of linemen, who are usually the biggest guys on the field, the defensive backs, who are the fastest, and then the linebackers, who are the most balanced. There's lots of strategy behind using one formation over another based on the situation, and so we'll touch on that a little bit as we go on here. One important thing to remember is that even though the players might be standing in the same spot before each play, they don't always have the same assignment, so they won't always do the same thing during the play. What each guy does is determined by whatever play is called. So next we have something similar. It's called the 3-4. And so as you might have guessed it, rather than four linemen and three linebackers like in the 4-3, the 3-4 has three linemen and four linebackers. Remember, though, they're not all required to stand in any one spot, so you may see these linebackers start creeping up towards the line on occasion. Teams will generally pick one of these two, the 4-3 with the 3-4, as their base defense, and they will use those formations most often. Regardless of which one they pick, though, they will likely mix in the nickel and dime packages as well. So let's look at those now. If we find ourselves in a situation where the offense is likely to pass, the defense might go for the nickel package. This means that we have five defensive backs instead of four. Most likely it'll be two safeties and three corners. If you aren't from the United States or Canada, or if you are from the U.S. and you just haven't been paying attention, a nickel is the coin that is worth five cents here. So since we've got five defensive backs, we call this fifth defensive back the nickel back. If there is a situation in which the offense is almost guaranteed to pass, if say they've got four or five wide receivers on the field, then the defense can go into what is called the dime. The dime means that we've got six defensive backs on the field. So you might say that it's like having two nickel backs. And so back to the money, a dime is worth two nickels. So that's where we get this name. We've got our nickel back, and then we've got our dime back. As for the last formation, we've got, it's called the prevent. The prevent means that we only have a total of three or four linemen and linebackers on the field and seven or eight defensive backs. Teams will only go into the prevent whenever they have a big lead, so they're just trying to prevent the offense from having a big play and scoring. They don't care if they give up yardage as long as the offense doesn't score and that clock keeps moving. And so they're just trying to keep the offense in front of them, and so you might even see these guys creeping back a little bit. And so that is the 4-3, the 3-4, the nickel, the dime, and the prevent defenses. Thanks.